Let's go, Chriso. Let's go, Chriso. Let's get to cooking. Today, we making steak sandwiches the official, unofficial chef way. How hard could it be? A bag of groceries. Another day, another meal. Yeah, we back to the kitchen with it. All right, so, you know the first thing we're gonna do is, uh-huh, chop and mince all three of these, onions and garlic. Every meal, we do it. At this point, I should have a whole closet filled with onions and garlic because I feel like I go to the store every day to get those. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know you a real juggler when you can juggle three different things of three different weights, you feel me? This takes mine over. I technically have to smash this garlic anyway, so it really doesn't matter that, you know, it dropped. Hands are washed and we ready to go. One down. Now we're just gonna do that with the next onion and the garlic. Yeah! Hey, no lie, this one knocked all the way out of its shell, along with some of that, like, that method might be the method. <laughs> onions and garlic, garlic and onion. All right, we got one more onion, which is the red onion. Gotta cut this one, but uh, I'm actually gonna cut this differently than that, and we're gonna do that later. Let's get our pan to a medium heat. Yeah. Notice I put the onions in a bowl this time. That's just for y'all, so the pour is smooth, check it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we'll use the cutting tray to do the garlic. Can't do the cutting tray with the onions. Be too many onions, man. Once again, we are starting our meal like we always start our meal. Little chopped up onion, little chopped up garlic, you know what I mean? In the right way. Okay, so I got a minor technical difficulty. Basically, this pan I wanted to use to make our steaks and this pan I wanted to use to make uh, the first part of our meal, which is the cheesy spinach that's gonna go on top of our sandwich. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I didn't even tell y'all about the cheesy spinach, but yeah. Like, there's about to be cheesy spinach that we're going to put right on top of our, our sandwich. It's all going to make sense, and it's all going to taste mm, many feet. But first, we got to make the cheesy spinach, and we got to make the steak separately. Don't ask me why I want to do what I want to do in either pan. That's what I got to do. So, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch this over here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Speak. Oh. Speaking of the steak... We're about to get that popping right now. Rinse off your meat. Y'all know I always got a snack while I'm cooking. Just so I don't eat all of my ingredients. Snack for today, Chips Ahoy Chewy Cookies. Five. Now you do not want to eat too much of those snacks, all right? It's just something to hold you so you don't eat all your food. You eat too many snacks, you ain't going to be hungry for the food. You feel me? So for these steaks, we got us some nice thin sliced steaks. So I'm gonna season these, and then we're gonna just throw them on the pan. Now with seasonings, a lot of time, you can do pretty much anything you want. It's up to you how you wanna season your food. But when it comes to steak, a lot of times, salt and pepper. La salt and la pepper. That's all you really need. A Little bit of this, and a little bit of that. Hold on. And a little bit of that. And it's a wrap. Just for a little bit of extra, I'm gonna take some of this Montreal steak seasoning and I'm gonna just sprinkle that on top of everything. Now listen, I know I said salt and pepper is enough and it is, it is. But when you a fish on a fish with chef, <laughs> you can't help but get free. Steaks in the pan, steaks in the pan. Feeling like the man with the steaks in the pan. All right, so these steaks are extra thin. So they're not gonna take long to cook. Literally a few minutes on each side. I probably could, it's probably a little brown already. Mm-hmm. 
Look at that, already getting brown, yeah. About to flip these and these about to be good. I just poured a cup and a half of this heavy whipping cream into here. One cup and a half, all right? Now we're gonna pour that into our onions and our garlic. Yeah. And let that start cooking up. Did I not tell you we was gonna start getting freaky? Did I not tell you we was gonna start getting freaky? No, I'm not an official chef, but look at this. Juicy, just a little pink, hot as shit. <laughs> but damn. What's popping? <laughs> so, new addition to the kitchen. I bought a cheese grater or a, a grater in general. It's my first time actually using one, so I'm not familiar, but uh, how hard could it be? The cheese we got today is smoked Gouda. I've actually never used that either, so uh, we're going to see what's up. All right, so I'm guessing you grate cheese like... Like this? Hey! Woo! It's like I'm working at the deli. You want to chop cheese? Look at that. Eee! I never had Gouda cheese. Smoky. Interesting. S and D. Just poured all that Gouda into our mix. Now we're just gonna mix that up and let that really like get cheesy. <laughs> this is about to be fire. My bad, y'all. I forgot one more thing. Now listen, our steak is done, okay? Beautifully done. But I wanted it to have a little bit of a barbecue-y taste. So you could either put it on the steak right now or you can get a bowl, right? Like so, and then get yourself a little uh, paintbrush. Another addition, which I got at the supermarket. And we just gonna paint a little bit of this barbecue sauce on our steak, like so. So I got the steaks back on the pan. I'm gonna just take a little bit of this sauce, all right? And just give it a little paint. And I'm only gonna keep them on here for less than two minutes, because really, they're done and I don't want them to overcook. I like my steaks to be a little bit undercooked, which is why I couldn't, I can take the time to do this. All right, so let that sit. I'm gonna let that sit for just a few seconds and I'm gonna flip them and take them back out. And look at our cheese. Woo! Hold on, let me turn that down a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. So we are gonna add the last ingredient, but this is looking great. Woo, my kitchen is a mess right now. That's that real official, unofficial chef stuff. All right, so this is spinach. We're gonna take our spinach and we're gonna cut a good amount of that. That seemed pretty decent. Maybe even get a little bit more. And we're just gonna chop our spinach up. Chop it up, get it real thin because we throwing this spinach in with our cheese. That's how we make our cheesy spinach. Last but not least, we're gonna take this onion, chop it up, and then we're gonna be able to put our sandwich together. We are gathered here today to show appreciation for this sexy ass sandwich. All I'm feeling is pure joy. Let's dive in. Mm. The cheesy spinach, the onions, yo. Restaurant quality, restaurant quality. Uh, looking for 